Where did you come from? <laughs> I thought he was pretty new, but he's been around for a while. Oh, yeah. Since Brawl's release, he's been training with Mango and Lucky, yeah. you know, as well as on his own. He just doesn't compete all that much, so we don't have the results there to mm. measure his skill. Yep. Yeah, all we really have to go by is how godlike his combos are in uh, Amazing Times 2. Call that one. <laughs> but, um, yeah, typically he doesn't go to many tournaments. I think he works like retail or something on weekends, so he's a pretty busy guy. But, but yeah, uh, definitely. Lucky will, say, Lucky will say that he's top 25 in the world. Oh, wow. That's a big call. Yeah, yeah, I'll say yeah, so. Yeah, he's uh, incredibly talented. So what do you give Atticus his chances here? you think he's got any kind of upset potential or...? Well, I don't know. I don't think so. I think Alex would have so much experience in the Fox Ditto, playing with Lucky a lot. Um, and I know, I think the, the Crimson Blur says, like, he just rates Alex so highly in this matchup that I don't think uh, Atticus would stand much of a chance. But, I don't know, we'll see. Very volatile matchup. Yeah, that's true, that's true. He had a great play right there where he swapped positions with Alex, got him off the ledge, got him off again, but then missed the shine spike. And had he gotten it, it would have been even, but he missed it, and now we're looking at 4-2 with Alex only at about 80%, so it very suddenly looks impossible. Yeah, he's just missing a, a few minor things, and it makes a huge difference. Like, if he just can't close out, the, you know, someone as good as Alex is just going to take it you know, it's just gonna kill you for it, actually. I don't know, I might say this is the matchup above all where it's minor things. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes it just seems random, to be honest, like... Yes, <laughs> yes, a lot of times it does, and it surely isn't because it's no. melee and it's perfect. <laughs> yeah. But you almost feel like, well, who's gonna win this Fox Ditto? I don't know, how mm. could you possibly say? Because it's a fuck, everyone just, you just do the moves and one of them wins. <laughs> yeah, yeah I think, um... We're sort of starting to see the Fox Ditto go to a new level with Amada playing Fox now. Mm -hmm. Like it just seems like he he knows what to do. He he might be one of the best, or if not the best, in the Ditto. I think everybody should just try to follow what he does. Just his punishes are insane. He gets them off stage and he kills them. <laughs> I absolutely agree with you, and I think a lot of what oh he's doing. Oh my god! Oh, everyone <laughs> just there was an audible gasp. Yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> Although one of your foxes nared to grab me the other day, and it was like witchcraft. I was <laughs> very impressed, and he told me he never done it before either. Uh, yeah, I absolutely agree that Armada's fox is on a whole other level, especially when you're talking about the ditto. And yep. if you watch him, he does fewer moves. Mm. So it's not the constant like flurry of blah that we were talking about. Yep. He knows the optimal option, picks it, and it's it's super exciting to watch. Yeah, like he shows that it's definitely not random. It's uh... mm -hmm. but I think controlling the chaos is more difficult in oh, this yeah. matchup than the others. Yeah, for sure. And also because percent matters not as much here. I mean, the shine spikes. Mm. If you can take those low stocks, then the neutral game is neutered. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, well. All right, Atticus getting those shortens uh, extremely consistently, and he's getting this super shortened one as well. Yeah, which I believe is a little harder to get. Oh, I didn't. Okay, all right. His he is missing a few things. Uh, yeah, see if he can regain composure. Ooh. Oh, okay, but he's coming back down, and I thought he's been looking pretty good this stock. Mm. I mean, he's down in percent, but he's had some nice movement, and he's gotten Alex off the stage more than once. It's been a, a few missed techs. I think that dash tech meant to be a short up there, yeah. um, which would have put him in a killing position. Atticus really likes to um, sweet spot with his recovery, likes to up B low. Um, so we'll see if Alex can catch on to that, maybe just grab the ledge and roll up, okay. or just go for the, the low back air. Whoa, okay, great. Yeah, all right. Three Keeping stocks each. All right, Atticus, you're in it. And we might be able to see Atticus, like, he might be able to take advantage of the fact that he's more familiar with Pal. Um, might be able to get, you know, better angles with his recovery, be more familiar with the combos, with the mm -hmm. up smash and whatnot. Mm -hmm. 
So all the smashes are, are very, oh, not very different, but you know there are minor adjustments. And it does make a difference. Yeah, well, they're different enough that the combos change a exactly, lot. Yeah. A slight difference changes everything about the combo. Man. Yeah. Okay, there, Atticus with the shorten that oh fooled my God. no one. <laughs> Alex watched it, got three up smashes, then a double shine to a kill. Double shine off stage as well. Like, yeah. man, you don't see that very often. Yeah. All right, there we go. That's what we want to see. Pick up those docks, Atticus. Ooh, love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, using the tour B offensively is something I always like to see. You know, Foxes can do it with the drill shine tour B against climbers to follow up on. Yeah, them. yeah. I like it's it against uh, Luigi as well. Yes, that's shine the B. So good. Very good, Darren. Yeah, it looks like Atticus is, uh, might be a little bit nervous. Oh, shine turn around grab. Alex is moving so quickly. He is. And just in general, you can see he's going right for the grab. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Very impressive. Very grab-based fox that Alex has, and it's, mm. it seems smart. Mm. I like watching that very much. Seemed like at the start of the day, he just needed a little bit of time to warm up. He was missing a few things, but by the end of it, against Atticus, uh, on point. Very impressive.